Good morning, everyone. I hope you're starting the day just right. I've been listening to some Christian music, modern Christian music. I like all types, but I always like to listen to the new music because I love seeing where somebody has been inspired by God to express themselves in music. I wish I could be involved more with music, but I don't have that gift. I know how to play a guitar, and I've played the piano a little bit, but I don't have, like they say, the music in me, so therefore I just I can't remember the songs because I don't picture them in my head. I can learn how to play the, the chords or the individual notes, but I don't learn the music. Anyway, we're going to look at some examples of music to find yourself. Music has been around forever. It's in the Bible. It's been around for hundreds of years before Christ. Thousands of years. It's been around. We seem to find that. We can tune into that. We hear the beat and it gets us going. Or we can hear the solemnness of the song and feel the compassion. That's what music is supposed to do, is to transfer to you the feeling of the artist who is creating it. Now, with that in mind, you have to be careful. As with anything, there's a good and a bad side to it. So I'm going to look at a couple of rock songs that have been around for a long time, written by big rock bands, and you decide whether it's something that you should be listening to. Some of their songs are not like this, but they do write this kind of stuff, which means this is where their music inspiration is coming from. You have to be careful. <clears throat> there are some good stories. Alice Cooper, who created this dark image, and he says in an interview that he never really did bite a head off of a chicken. That was just the media going with it, but it fit the stage presence, so he didn't deny it. But later on now, he's, he is a Christian now. And so later, later on now, he's interviewed and says, I didn't really do that. Somebody brought it. I didn't bring it. <clears throat> and it never, he didn't bite the head off. Okay, that's the kind of stuff that you've got to do a stage presence to go with your music. If you look at Kiss and that makeup they put on, you see them in, without makeup, they're just normal guys. But that was their stage presence. So, we're going to look at two songs, The Rolling Stones. And I'm, again, I'm not going to give you my opinion, but you can figure that out. I don't know what would happen if I start talking good or bad about people. I don't know what that would happen on YouTube. Okay. I had to make sure I could see this. My mouse was starting to act up just before I recorded, and I had to reboot. So I'm having to double-check myself. Okay. The Rolling Stones have a song out, and they have a lot of songs out that have questionable lyrics. But this one here is in your face. It's called Sympathy for the Devil. And I'm just going to read the first stanza, I guess. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. I've been around for a long, long year. Stole many a man's soul and faith. I was around when Jesus cried, had his moment of doubt and pain. Made damn sure that Pilate washed his hands and sealed his fate. Pleased to meet you. Hope you guess my name. But what's puzzling you is the nature of my game. And then they go other, other versions of that. Talking about the devil now. Is he claiming to be the devil? No, I don't see that here, but he's giving a song to the devil. I worry about people who do that. 
and you think, well, you know, how can these, if, if they're into devil worship or if they're into uh, satanic stuff or whatever, how can they become so popular? You don't think that Satan's going to promote his best leaders to make lots of money? And there's, there's far worse. There's, there's lyrics out there that I won't even read that are so bad. Let's look at another big group, Fleetwood Mac. This was a Stevie Nicks song. She brought it in, so it's Fleetwood Mac slash Stevie Nicks. She comes in, and she's really into, um, she's got totems on her fireplace. You know, she's into magic and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Rhiannon, she says in an introduction before singing the song, we believe she's a Welsh witch. Okay. She's singing about a witch. Rhiannon rings like a bell through the night, and wouldn't you love to love her? Takes to the sky like a bird in flight. Who will be her lover? All your life you've never seen woman taken by the wind. Would you stay if she promised you heaven? Will you ever win? She is a cat in the dark, and then she is to darkness. She rules her life like a fine skylark. And when the sky is starless, all your life you've never seen a woman taken by the wind. You have to really be careful. It's a very popular song. If you look on YouTube, it's got millions of views. These people are influencing a lot of people. It's a form of propaganda, if you will, because if you listen to these songs, and they're played on the radio when they're really popular, over and over again. And they're programming the psyche of the people listening. My morning crow. Now, there's been Christian music around forever. When I was in the Navy, I found out about a church it's a little bit of a drive, but we would get together, the four Christians that were acknowledging it on my ship. It was a destroyer, so there weren't that many overall sailors, but four of us were admitted Christians, and God got us into one dormitory room when the ship went in the yards because you couldn't live aboard it. And we got into one room, which was a miracle in itself because we're from different departments. And we would listen to this modern 70s Christian music. And we'd go down to Calvary Chapel, led by Chuck Smith. They just did a movie with Kelsey Grammer and uh, about his life and that. And he set up you know, a circus tent at some point because there were so many young people coming to hear the music. And this was, you know, good contemporary folk music type stuff. It wasn't, you know, hard rock. It wasn't guitar stuff, big big electric guitars, but there are groups out there like that, like Striper and other groups that do play, you know, rock music, but have Christian lyrics. You can use music for good or for evil. So they created a group called Maranatha Music back then and had a, had a group called Love Song and Debbie Kerner and then her, her future husband, who was also a songwriter, they married and continued making music for a while. But the Bible is all about songs. Songs are to be inspirational. They are also to be praise songs. I'm going to drop a link down in the comments down below. Check it out. That link will take you to another YouTube channel where there's a playlist of some Christian, modern Christian songs. That's what I was listening to this morning. So you want to start your day with God and what better way to do it than with good Christian music? Let's take a look at a couple of psalms here. Start off right off the bat, Psalm 1-1. Give you an idea of the, the writer's thinking. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or set foot on the path of sinners, or sit on the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, 
and who proposes or prospers in all that he does. Not so for the wicked, for they are like chaff driven by the wind. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord guards the path of righteousness, by the way of the wicked will perish. That's just set it, setting the tone. This isn't necessarily a song. It doesn't start off like it wants you to sing it. But there are songs that start off and you can tell it's a song. Psalm 6-1 starts off with, For the choir master, <clears throat> with stringed instruments. This is a psalm written a long time ago. A psalm of David. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am frail. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is deeply distressed. How long, O Lord, how long? So he's going through some kind of a trial here, and he wants to know how long till God saves him from it. Turn, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me because of your loving devotion. For there is no mention of you in death. Who can praise you from shale, from hell? So, songs, and it continues on. You can read it if you want. There are a lot of praise songs. And there are a lot of fun songs that are actually in the Bible. But you don't know it unless you can read Hebrew. Read it in the original text. It's like each verse starts with the next letter of the alphabet, <clears throat> or the Aleph Bet, the Hebrew alphabet. It's got similar sounding letters, but the first two letters of the Hebrew alphabet are Aleph and Bet. So that's where we get alphabet. Okay, so I'm just going to throw out some modern groups here. If you've heard them, great. If not, um, Skillet. They're a fun little group. They've got nine million monthly listeners. So I'm just I'm not going to give you the songs. I'm just giving you the stats here, so you can see that we do have an influence. It's not as much as the world does, but we do have an influence. Elevation worship. Seven million. Lauren Daigle. 5 million. Hillsong worship. Millions of listeners. These are some modern. I think that I looked, I looked up the top five Christian songs, listeners, and this is what I got with, with the look up. So, again, I will put a link down in the description down below. Just click on it. It'll be the first thing you see before I get into my information about my pages. It's okay to click a link in my stuff. Just be careful if somebody sends you a link and don't click on it because sometimes they're scamming or spamming. So, but for my stuff, it's okay if I'm telling you that I'm doing it. All right. We've got Christian songs, old and new. We have hymns, which tend to be more <clears throat> subdued, and they're good for praise. But I still, I listen to all types of music, and I love the modern stuff. Enjoy God. Spend time with Him. I don't need background music here. As I have birds and squirrels and all kinds of critters out there. But it would be nice to sometimes have some nice Christian background music as we walk. <clears throat> I can put in my earbuds if I want to do that. Go for a hike and have my earbuds in. We have the technology. Use it. Till we meet in the clouds. Stay close to Jesus during these times. We don't know when we're leaving. 
God bless. There's one of my blackbirds over there walking. You can get fairly close. Here we'll fly off. They know they can find food. See, we do have water in sight in the campsites. Here's another campsite next to me. We're, we're close, but not too close. See what you get if you come in here? Get a nice table. This area is flat with this small gravel. You can put your tin on this and it's comfortable. You got a fire ring and you have power. And the road's right there. So you can park your cars and just pack your stuff in. You can get real close sites like this one here. You don't have to go very far. But it gets the sun in the afternoon, so this might be too hot, and the one down next to it. But you can get back into the trees. And there's my site back in there. See, back in there you can stay cool most of the day. Get out and enjoy it. Summer's out now. Take the kids. Blessings, everyone.